I've got a face open and the eyes. Um, I've used the mag uh, magnifying glass to zoom in. And you can use the scroll bar. We're going to do both eyes at once. This is the Elements 9. Your Elements 10 will work the same way. First thing you want to do is, of course, I've already done it. You have background here. Make sure you right click on it and it'll say layer from what background. The background layer film just has a lock on it, which means there's some things you can't do with it. So it's always better to work on a background copy. Uh, first thing we want to do, here's the lasso tool, lasso tool. Right and click on and right click. Click and hold on the little triangle. Click the magnetic lasso tool. No feathering. Up here I have it set to add just so we can do both at once. Anti-aliasing, uh, you can click that off. Width, I have 10 pixels. That's enough. Contrast 10%, frequency, I have no idea what that is. And tablet pressure, we don't have a tablet. And first take a look at your eye so you know exactly where the eyeball is and just kind of pretend go around it. You can see this pink spot here is not your eyeball, not her eyeball. Same thing here, the eye goes up over okay and you know in your video he made a lot of uh, long clicks depends on see where it's going off already the magnetic lasso tool has to find a boundary if it starts to go off just click there don't worry about it. You have a whole lot of clicks at once. Your object is to select. Okay, we've got one eye selected. Come up here, make sure those two boxes, add to selection, is highlighted. And start. This eye has the boundaries here are a little more definite than they were on the other eye. Whoops. I'm doing this one a little rougher, but that's okay. Okay, now when I want to make changes here, you can use the lasso tool to add, add and subtract, or the selection brush is also good. First, I want to add some parts here, right here, and right here before I smooth it, right here. I've been making selections for a lot of years and I'm kind of particular about them. Now let's use subtract, get rid of some of the bumpier areas here. That eye's pretty good. This eye needs some major. And I'm doing this because you may have to do it too. Okay. And there's a little bump there all right well we have her eyes selected okay well we have her eyes selected go up to select in the main menu down to refine edge we do not want a feather i have it smoothed up to 20 and i have it expanded it says contract expand if you move it toward the left, it contracts it. If you move the slider to the right, it expands it. You can also use these. They have mass things. I've rarely used them, actually. I probably should learn to. But that's okay. So we smoothed it. I smoothed it 20. I expanded it plus 7. Now, we want to make a new. Come down here. Uh, to the new layer icon, the one at the far left, and click it. You get a new layer. You want to make sure your foreground color is black. Choose your fill tool and go boink, and both of her eyes turn black. Now you want some highlights. So what we're going to do is we're going to control D, and we're going to Turn that off so we can see the highlights. 
click on your magic wand tool come to the layers palette click on your original photo up here I have the two overlapping solid boxes add the selection clicked on and highlighted my tolerance is 32 anti-alias is unchecked contiguous is checked and I'm just gonna click and click I'm also going to zoom in because I want to use the magic wand and pick up the lighter colored gray squares. Just use the scroll bar, scroll over to the other, and also pick up. Now then go back to view, fit on screen, magnifying glass, point, okay. Now we want to copy those and put those on a layer also. So press Control C to copy and Control V to paste. Now they're on a layer. But you know it's the layer was just click and drag. We want the now we there are your little highlights. Now if you see any um, places up here where you might want to erase, you know, some of the black. Now's the time to do it. Just to smooth out some of the black areas. And I don't like that one. Do it again. Okay. Now, it still looks a little bit iffy. Just give it a look, see, and see if you like it. It doesn't look too bad. Now, she didn't have, like his example, there are a lot of highlights on the eye. And uh, this person didn't have a lot of highlights on the eye. That's about as good as she's going to look, although it's creepy enough. Now, if you wanted to, you could... You know, make her lips purple or whatever you wanted to do, too, because her lips have a fairly good boundary line here. But anyway, using elements, that's how I would make someone's eyes black. 